guy. I'm uh, when well, it's a wet day in the garden today. So I thought I might have a look at my smart AI recognition bird feeder. So this is an AI bird feeder. Recognise bird species, bird detection notifications, charge with a solar panel, nature friendly housing design, photo worldwide, auto capture video of birds, with 1080p HP camera with night vision, device share function, observe wild birds by app, where and wherever. So that's quite interesting, so I'm quite looking into looking at this. So let me show you what we've got in the box. So we've got dual action motion and a solar monitor, solar channel charging solar energy, included USB cable, power is 5200 milliamps rechargeable lithium ion battery, colour blue and other customers, the camera is a 2.0 megapixels photo and 1080p HD live stream video, built in microphone, Operating temperature minus 5 to 120 Fahrenheit, weather resistant, wireless is Wi Fi 2.4 gigahertz, field of view diagonal 130 degrees, horizontal 94 degrees, vertical 40 degrees. So let's have a look and see. This has got rather wet in the greenhouse here, so I've not actually opened it at all. So we'll have a look inside. So we've got a tool, we've got a smart AI recognition bed feeder manual, and we've got the bird feeder cable. And there's a few screws floating around the box, which is a bit weird. It's got a packet that's already been opened. So it looks like this box has already been opened before and everything is just lying around, which is a bit random. We've got a bracket. So I'm just going to collect all these bits together and we've got the stand. All this is all well packed so this doesn't look like it's been opened. So the screws and the bolts are just lying loose which is weird. There we go, look all the bits are lying loose. Very odd. So I'm just going to collect all this up. And we're going to put it all in the tray. We'll finish with that, we can get rid of that. So let's have a look. We've got the roof. We've got the feeder, along with a cable, and the roof. So this will fit on the bracket. There we go, just like that. We're going to have to look at the instructions to look at what we do further. So we've got some instructions, project manual, frequently asked questions and it does say we can use it on iPhone and Android 
using the Bird Lover app. Android 5.0, iOS 10 version. We've got a few questions. We've got what's in the box, bird feeder bracket, bird stand, drill socket or sticker, bracket connector, long screws, anchors, screws for war, pin, rubber proof rubber, short screw and a micro USB charging cable. And then specifications. So this is the camera. We've got a cover over the top. We've got a rubber section over here. We've got an on off switch. There we go. And we've got a slot for our SD card. So we can put an SD card in the slot. Then we can put our cover over the top. The cable plugs in to the top. Camera sits in there. Screws in somehow. There's a screw at the back and there's a screw here. Aha. So that will screw into the bracket. There we go. Got to retrieve the screw. There we go. So we screw the camera onto the bracket. It's a little bit fiddly. It must come around the other way maybe. Nope. Unscrew this. So I'm just going to screw the camera onto this back plate. which rotates that will go back in its hole we also need to plug in the USB cable and there we go that should be all ready to go so now I need to download the software on my phone So on the phone we need a bird lover app and I guess it's this one bird lover 10k downloads so we should download this and we can go from there. So we've downloaded the app and now we've got to set up our bird finder, we've got BF11. Reset the device. Power the device on, make sure the indicator is flashing quickly or prompt tone is heard. So we have to press Hard to get it back out again once it's in there. There 
There we go. So turn it on. Flashing. So head prompt. Next. I have to type in the password of our internet. Connecting device. So we managed to set up the camera using a barcode, showing it in front of the screen and then all we do is press the camera and it will load and there we go, that's the camera from the bird feeder and that's using the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi from the house is quite far away so there we go. So all we need to do is put the roof on, fill up with seeds, and then we can go see what happens. So I'm going to fill this up. It's all a bit hit and miss. We've got a selection of sunflowers. And also bird seed. Put the roof on, connect the cable. We can connect the roof, making it watertight and then we're ready to mount it in the garden. Fits in and slots around like that. Plugs come out. These, ah, so it slides, this is it, he slides into here, that's it, and then we fold this back and we fill it up this way. It doesn't show that in the instructions, so it snaps on and there we go. We've got our camera, that should be able to move, cover up the blanking spot there to make it sure it's shut, now it's ready for hanging using the bracket. So I've just put this bracket onto my arbor and it's just a temporary measure until we can see what happens. I'm just going to place the feeder on the top.
place the little stand. And we can wait and see. See what happens. So we're just going to do a quick test. And there we go. All working. We've got to wait and see now. There's a bird hopping along here. Should hopefully see. So I'm getting wet here. So I'm going to leave it and see what happens. <laughs> 